that's a B-tube in zero here, and I have two more next stage boxes. Uh, remember, this, this set's getting expensive, and uh, yeah, I can't keep buying this set uh, because the prices are way too high, probably for the grade one searchers and the SPs and all that stuff, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna open both these boxes in this video, and hopefully we pull more. I think out of all the clans so far, I kind of want to finish Gear Chronicle. Well, actually I take that back. I probably want to finish Asha first because I don't have a Neo Nectar functioning, functioning deck. I was going to do the Arboros uh, Dragon one, but I can't do it. Uh, the Neo Nectar uh, dice. See this? Sort of looks like a crit trigger. It can close to it, but I mean, wish they made dice for it. The color dice can be determined by how much uh, or what clan it is or something. All right, so let's see what the art is on this one. Kamui's Excel Two. I actually like that. It's a Shura Kaiser. It's actually not bad. And quick shields. All right, we got uh, some packs here. So let's get to it. Hopefully, we pull something good. Hopefully, I wouldn't mind if both these packs had an Asha in it, just because it would finish up the set. Uh, Mesa Gear Dragon and on a basis Header Dragon first pack. I was going to do like a scoreboard thing like I did for Dragon's Vanity, but can't do it in this one. It's too expensive. I'll probably do it for the next set. Uh, Knight of Heavenly Spears Aganip. Aganips. It's cool looking. Can't really make a deck out of this one. Only for a budget Royal Paladin deck. Uh, Headwind Knight Salim and F Maiden of Fine Ale. Well, at least the Vanguard is not first pack or second token. Uh, Ma Steam Maiden Inglisa and Heart Thump Worker. The, I think this is the first one I got, which is the Crit Trigger Sentinel with the 30k shield, which is pretty cool. Uh, I might throw this in either my Chrono Fang Tiger deck or next stage, which I might do for Chrono Fang because because uh, that there's a lot of discarding in that and a lot of drawing, so and it could use the power. All right, Maiden of Iceberg, it's a rare and. Cornflower Maiden, Cornflower Flower Maiden, Ines, which looks really cool, but uh, kind of might need her own, might need her own separate deck or something. Should probably be useful in uh, Musketeers or something. All right. Hope Song Angel. And another Laurel Knight Silicus. Awesome. This is the expensive one too, so I got a third one of these. So that's really cool. Oh man, it's that's awesome. I wonder if I can finish out this place hut, because that way I got the expensive one out the way. And that is our second triple rare, so. Uh, blow ball squire. And up clutch dragon. Uh, Rising Knight Belta and Steam Maiden Melim. I can probably make a place out of that at some point. So I think that's the third one. Uh, no. 
uh, Ingenious Tactics, a Book of Strong Aim Arming, and Maiden of Sweetberry. Blowball Squire and Aerial Defined Knight Alt Mile, which is cool. Uh, the only downside is I'm not getting a place out of something right now. So uh, that's cool. I really like Alt Mile. Alt Mile was, I think it was my, I preferred him over uh, the Blaster set, but in the V series, I might be aiming more towards Blasters than Alt Mile just because Gansalot's just so much fun to use. With his old, your front row can be uh, vanguards. Can be a vanguard circle, which is cool. Uh, upstream dragon, and purple, or royal purple flower maiden, Marjana. That's pretty cool. pack for this box. Uh, Knight of Longbow Malcolm and Rindo Gentia Musketeer Antaro. That was pretty cool. Alright, that was a pretty decent uh, opening. Got another Silicus Knight. So, that's cool. Happy about that. I think I need one more of him and three more of the other Grade one searchers. Oh, first time we get a blue dice with the Royal Paladin logo on it. I mean, that also could probably look like a, a crit trigger. Alright, so apparently these are all different. So, this one has Aichi on it, so not that much different. And a quick shield. It's not bad. You can always use a quick shield. They give them out a lot just because uh, they like they're good box toppers. Because there's a lot of people who will proxy them, even though it's like there's people who proxy imaginary gifts, which I think is dumb. Like just use the gifts. Don't proxy them. They give out so many of them. Interdimensional Beast Isolate Lion and Headwind Knight Salim. Alright, next pack. Don't proxy tokens or or imaginary gifts or orders. They, they give it to you. Just just use them. Maiden of Fine Ale and another purple or royal purple flower maiden Marjana this box. I ended the last box with it and started the new box with it. So, that's funny. Uh, two tokens. Uh, Steam Maiden Anglisa and Hope Song Angel. It's not bad. It's a cool card. Maiden of Iceberg, and Knight of Heavenly Spears, Agonips. Another one of him. I might have a place of him, of him already, so. Steam Performer. Uh, Rising Knight, Belta. And another Dream Spinning Rhinoculus, Asha, which is cool. I think this is the most, the more expensive VR, or Actually, that might be next stage, just because of how iconic it is. But yeah, it's cool that we got another Asha. I might finish Asha first. Just because I pulled most of her cards. Or at least the Vanguard rares. Got Rising Knight Belta, and the Book of Strong Arming. Normal order. I can't see myself using that unless... 
I have counter blast to burn. Mazer Gear Dragon and Lauren Light Silkus. Awesome. Now I have a play set of these. Uh, I have a total of four. So uh, whenever I can throw this into any Royal Paladin deck, I might. I mean, if I can't get the All Mile stuff, I'll just continue with the, the Gancelot stuff. So that'll be cool. So yeah, it's just, I think Royal Paladins are cool. Alt Mile was cool in the G era, but. I don't think he's that cool in this in this V area, so. But still cool to have him, though. So, Maiden of Sweetberry and Bringer of Dreams bonus, which is pretty cool. Could use another one. I think I have three of them now. And that might have been the last double rare that we get. Token. Upstream Dragon and Knight of Longbow Malcolm. Be cool to end this with an SP. Come on, come on, box. Give me something. Uh, and a Basis Header Dragon and another Grade 1 Searcher. Val Valkyrie of Reclamation Padmini. Which is cool. Uh, I think there's one more triple rare. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Getting a lot of grades one searchers. I think the only one I didn't really pull that many of is uh, uh, the smoke gear. Uh, Ontario and Steam Maiden Melon. I think I have all my hollows. I think. Blowball Squire and Up Clutch Dragon. Yeah, I think I pulled them all. But that's that's pretty okay. Um, so we'll do a little small review here. Or so we got just some stuff. We got Aerial Defined Night Alt Mile, another Melim. Got uh, Grade One Searcher, which is pretty cool. Inez somewhere. Got a couple of uh, couple of uh, crit trigger sentinels. Two more silicus. Got another Asha, which is awesome, and just more stuff. So, so yeah, that was uh, not the best, but uh, well, I want to say it's better than last opening because I got more. Grade 1 Searchers, which are pretty much staples in every deck nowadays, so um, I'm not sure if, if I'm going to open more boxes of this. If I do, there's probably going to be filler openings, like opening older sets just to get see if I can get particular things, like draw trigger uh, PGs or something like that. So uh, yeah, so. I don't know if I'm going to open more of these boxes. If I don't, uh, it's not the end of the world. I'll probably spend more time with the next booster set, which is Silver Dust uh, Blaze, because I want the Dragonic Blade Master stuff. I want the <laughs> want the Susano stuff, and all the Messiah related stuff too. So, um, so yeah, I'll probably if I if I don't do another opening of this, I'll just do uh, I'll just order the singles because it seems to be more cheaper that way just just because like given that this stuff is like twenty dollars and this is like fifteen to twenty it's better than buying a box that's like seventy five which you know is is pretty pricey <laughs> so I think it's down to sixty five right now but that's still too much like a bo an extra booster, I think is like forty to fifty, and it shouldn't be any any higher than that, to be honest. But you know, online sellers want to make their money, so um, 
So yeah, I'll probably just buy the singles of these, so if I don't do another box, which, you know, I'm still looking, still scouting out the prices, so. Uh, so that would be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. You know, like, subscribe, comment, see it. Tell me what you're excited for as far as future sets. I am super excited for Luard coming back because I used to actually have that premium deck. Well, I don't know. Was it before Standard came around? It was probably, it was before Standard came around. But I love the Luard deck. It's very tactical. And not not to mention the Rummy Labyrinth stuff coming too. So there's a lot of good stuff coming this year. So I'm happy about that. So I'm definitely going to go all out on those two sets in particular. So, uh, but yeah, thanks again for, for watching everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>